Rita, look. Caterpillar, that's right. Another caterpillar. We have a few caterpillars here. Inside the car parks, inside the parks and gardens of our community. Look, it stopped. Look, slowly it walks. Slowly it walks. Look. Look. There are two of them on top of each other. Oh no, wait. I think that one is shedding. Is oh no, wait. Caterpillars don't shed. Or do they? Do they shed? Are they fighting? Victor? <laughs> Look, that's a caterpillar. Caterpillar with many, many legs walking slowly on the pavement in our community. Okay, okay. <laughs> you don't like caterpillars, huh? Wait, look, spider. 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 Uh -oh. Why is the spider following us? Why is the spider following us? The bee is extracting honey from the flower. In the process, he or she will carry the pollen onto another plant and help them make seeds. It's a bug. Daddy is not exactly sure what this bug is called, but it sure does look very interesting. Wait, look. Ooh, ooh, a bug.
take a closer look. There are all kinds of bugs in this area. Look. Hmm. It's a black bug. Bugs are consist of three parts head, chest, and lower body. They have six legs and two antennas. <coughs> uh, I know, I know, I know. Not everybody like bugs. But some bugs, they are good bugs. For example, bees are good bugs because they help to make honey in their hive and they also help the spread of pollens between flowers they stay on one flower and then they take their honey but also in the process they will get some of their pollens on their legs and body and when they fly to another flower the pollen from the previous flower will be contacting the new flower and that's how flowers reproduce <laughs>